All right, hello and welcome. My name is Jason Welsh and welcome to Animation One. Okay, so what we're going to be covering is dynamics before we cover animation. So let's just get started right away. Uh, first off, to know about dynamics. Let's uh, make sure we get our workflow down. Let's go to polygons and make sure interactive creation is off. This way I can make poly primitives very fast. I'm going to scale this out. Grab a ball, control D that ball, duplicate it, six on the keyboard, okay so average balls and uh, then you got this polyplane and we want it to bounce on the polyplane and that's why I want to kind of cover dynamics before I cover animation because that way we can learn to switch between the two. Okay, let's go to Dynamics tab and also go to Dynamics here. Highlight both balls. Create active rigid body. Okay, we want these to bounce, so they must be active. If you don't want something to interact with anything, but you want it to interact without moving, it becomes a passive rigid body. Okay, and let's just go to the timeline and say 500 and click and drag this timeline out and hit play. Nothing happens. Okay, next thing, click and drag the balls. Go to gravity and assign gravity to them. Hit play and there they are. They drop to the floor. Okay, so that graviton field will just pull them right down. Okay, so let's kind of look at something. Remember the old fable, what falls faster, uh, you know, I think it was a feather or a bowling ball or something like that, or an apple or a stone. Well, let's go here. And if you page down, we have the complete breakdown of this rigid body as far as how much it weighs what kind of dampening occurs on it. So in under, to understand like this stuff, first we're going to just cover the basics. Uh, let's say this mass on this object will be 100. Oops. On one of them will be 100 and the other one will be 1. Let's hit play. That's right, that old rule applies. Doesn't matter how much an object weighs, it all falls the fastest. They are both equally of weight when gravity hits them. Okay, so before we cover any of the other ones, you know, let's go to the graviton field. And you can see the magnitude is 9.8. This is standard for real time um, gravity, 9.8. So if you wanted something to make it a little less, you can always go to the graviton field and go to five and you'll find that they fall a little slower. All right, so that's a basic 101 lessons in dynamics. Um, of course, we're gonna get much deeper, but I wanna keep all these videos down to a very small size. So in the next lesson, we'll cover a little bit more. 